Frankulous Beats. Yo, what is going on? It's Frankulous Beats back again for another video. I know it's been like two weeks with no video. I've been organizing shit, trying to get this content out for you guys, and yeah, we're just about ready. So if you're not subscribed, please subscribe now and hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on anything. My social media links will be in the description. Just go click follow me on SoundCloud, Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, the works. You know how it goes. I'd like to thank those who subscribed and those who are still sub 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 those who are still subscribed. I really appreciate you guys and those who are liking my videos and those who are learning something. Awesome. So today I'm gonna be teaching you the language the language of music in a different way today we're going to be looking at sampling i know a lot of people have been asking me how do you sample where do you find samples what's the process involved in sampling well today i'm going to cover that all and i know a lot of people don't know what sampling is some people just take sampling as like taking any song and using it in your own material it doesn't work like that fam in sampling you take a portion of let's say an old song and flip it and make it turn it into your sound like make it doper in, in a sense that you all understand is you make it doper and different so today I'm gonna be we're gonna be looking at three ways to sample slice X fruity slicer and the playlist so first and foremost I'm gonna jump into the fruity slicer a lot of people don't know what fruity slicer is for i know a lot of people definitely don't know that there's this thing called fruity slicer a lot of people for sure have heard of slice x so today we're going to be looking at fruity slicer so fruity slicer is basically a sam a sampler whereby you can like throw in your samples in there and then it'll do the work for you it will chop up the sample for you it doesn't have like a lot of mm, stuff you can do around it like once you drop in the sample it will automatically chop for you you can control like the intensity of the samples so you can see when you flip the knobs the slices increase it it looks for places to chop like low the low parts where it can chop that's the auto slice and then if you do like the high ones it'll like do a lot of fucking slices and there's just yeah you get the idea so you can turn that that off and then basically how you slice is that's basically how you slice how you slice is just turn the knobs on and off play around with it and then if you have a MIDI keyboard you can check like you can play the sample on a MIDI keyboard or on, a, on your standard PC keyboard you can play the samples and check if everything is in your liking and if not you can change everything and then it also gives you an option to play around with the the pitch you can go high low and then this you can play around with it this is it stretches the slices and it makes them a lot more longer so you can like press them it makes them longer this it makes the slices longer and then you take that all the way up then basically it makes them shorter so that's basically it in fruity slicer and then now we're gonna check out slice x slice x actually like gives you the freedom to do whatever like it has a lot of knobs i know people like get confused with the a lot of knobs i'm just gonna go through the stuff you actually need to know when it comes to using slice x um, this is a, as you can see this one is already sliced so let's go already yeah i think this one isn't sliced yeah basically when you drop in the sample everything is going to be like this 
just without this yeah everything is going to be like this well sometimes if you haven't like used slice x before when you drop in the sample it's going to slice it up for you what you can do is just undo the process and it'll when you drop it in it's going to be like this and then what you're going to do is um highlight the parts that you want to use like first you're going to listen to the sample After you're done listening to the sample, you can highlight the parts you're going to use. Then you add a region. You can name it anything you want. Then, if you look closely, every time you add a region, this turns pink. Like every time, these are like basically the notes. On a MIDI keyboard, these are your notes on the on the MIDI keyboard. These are notes on the MIDI keyboard. So every time you add a region, these will turn pink. So like, let me chop another part so you can see. So you can see it turns pink, it turns pink to to show that a region has been added. So one region, two region, and then on your MIDI as well, you can play it makes it easier so now let's go straight into the knobs the knobs which you need to know the knobs which are really really like you just need to know so this one is the master pitch basically just changes the pitch of the whole goddamn sample you can play with it mess around with it you take it up take it down and that's it and then this well this is the for the automatic slicer like when you drop in the sample how random you want it to chop it and stuff basically it, this, that's it and then these are your region shit and reason region settings for your sample like see you can load up your region and then you can like filter it how you want to filter it so Basically, you can like filter it, play around with it, mess around with everything. I think that's basically everything you need to know when it comes to using Slice X. And then there's um the playlist. With the playlist, it's actually very simple. Like, very simple. You can just drop in a sample. As you can see, it's not in key, so what you can do is double click the sample and then. match it with the bars and then when you play it now it's in key if you don't like the way it sounds you want to rearrange it and you just slice it up slice it up and then you and then you like basically just basically that's it you just chop it up and arrange it the way you want to arrange it so that's gonna conclude the video today if you learned anything if you learned anything make sure to leave a like subscribe and comment on what you want to see next if you think there's something i missed and you please just help out people in the comments just tell them what i missed you can put it in the comments what i missed and stuff yeah Thank you for watching. Please subscribe. Like this channel needs support. I can see you guys are viewing the videos, but you guys are not subscribing. So please subscribe and turn those notification bells on so you don't miss out on an upload. I'm gonna be uploading more frequently now. So yeah, let's keep the ball rolling.